Hey YouTube, today we're going to be working on the 97 Boxster. We're going to be changing the airbag frame because the horn doesn't work on this car and most of the time that's what it is. So um, we're going to attempt it. The previous owner put in a horn button down here to get it to pass inspection because basically he said he didn't want to mess with the airbag so i'm assuming somebody told him that it was an airbag issue um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to disconnect the battery i'm going to let the car sit for half an hour 40 minutes just to make sure there's no power left in that airbag let it all drain out and then i'm going to take the uh, steering column apart not the steering column basically the back of the um there's some bolts back here that disconnect the airbag and i'm going to pull that frame out so watch and learn you're tightening that figure you make it tight before you go loose oh is that what you figured uh, yeah i thought, thought that would work fucking tired hey, well it'd be much better if you weren't tired and you were doing it the right way there you go just disconnect that that no just put it so it's not touching anything there you go and just kick this water bottle underneath the car. No, no, just just the just, just one side. side? Yeah, just the negative side. You don't need to undo both. Okay. 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 These things have electronic pops. So when you disconnect the battery, um, the hood won't open. So what you do is you gotta put something there, a towel or something like that. Um, so that uh, the hood will reopen. <laughs> so again, just put a towel there so that you don't lock the hood down. It's a real problem because you wouldn't be able to reattach the battery underneath the car. Okay, so now we're inside the Boxster and we have to take off these uh, two T30s and that'll pull off the airbag section. So. All right, so right now he's taking out the side bolts on the steering wheel that are in those little Try to find things. He's got, you got one out, I believe, right? Yeah, they're captured bolts. I can't get it to line up to where it is. Figure out where it is. <laughs> got the second bolt now. And as you can see, the airbag's basically about to fall off. Okay, to pull that airbag, basically there's, you just pull it back with a little screwdriver underneath. Um, there's two little pins there that go on the back of the airbag. So, um, just take a screwdriver and lightly pry it off. Now I'm going to remove these 19 millimeter bolts. There's four of them there. And that'll pull it off and then you got the little horn button there okay so these little screws that were there they're not encapsulated they're basically just sitting behind the frame so when you take the old frame out they just fall out they just fall out so i don't know if these are bad or not but i mean it's worth a shot i don't know why the horn wasn't working so i figured i'd change this to see if that's what the issue was okay so we reconnected the battery Good thing so far that the airbag did not explode. Greg's gonna throw the 25 uh, fuse into the fuse box, which is B3. You know which one B3 is? Yep. Yeah, okay. Give you the key, yeah? Yeah, because it's not beeping. I don't know, does the, horn, the light need to be on? Go one more. Okay. That's on. And horn works. So, nice job. There you go. That's what it was. Cool. Again. Well, now we got to figure out how to get rid of his stupid wires that he ran for the little horn he did. So we're gonna have to do that too. So this is the the old horn ring. 
I don't know if it was making contact back here like these these uh, bushings kind of swelled in and then what happens is it makes contact with this point this point you can see the four points there so I don't know I didn't I didn't know what was wrong with the horn because uh, the previous owner the previous owner when I asked her with the button underneath the uh, the steering or under the uh, center console center console was it's right here yeah it was like a horn button so and it's got like air horns so it's got air horns there i don't know why anybody would want that but anyway she said that they did it because uh the horn didn't work so um i just assumed that it was the porsche boxster issue of the uh frame and it looks like that's what it was so as always Give us a big thumbs up. Guys, like and subscribe first, though. Then give us a big thumbs up, hit the bell, and uh, come back. We're going to be doing some other cool stuff soon. Uh, we were just down doing a turbo on a Miata, so uh, we might go and uh, film some of that. The car's pretty much done, but uh, a little stuff here and there, like injectors and stuff to do. So we might do a video on that. Uh, but up and coming videos, uh, I'm not sure what they're going to be, but they're always fun. So again, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.